so hello guys 40 days to go and i know there is little you know apprehensions and stress in your mind regarding a date that is your 12th march 12th march 2022 will be a big date and we all have been waiting for this date but now there are little apprehensions little self doubt also and basically we are struggling what to study what to leave and how to go about it so here is a plan which i have tried to curate not a cumbersome one a very simple thing because you know there are so many strategies going on and uh, you know there's a lot of confusion so I have tried to simplify the things and keep it very, very simple so that you are not confused amongst the strategies. It is just like struggling for a mnemonic to remember because, you know, if you do not remember the mnemonic, you are not there with the actual thing that you have to learn. So we will try to keep it very short and very crisp and very simple also. See, we have 42 days in our hand. How? So keep two days of your January, that is your 30th and 31, okay? This is your January and then we have 28 days of the February. This makes your 30 days. So this is the first part of my plan. Second part of my plan is your two parts of the March. So 10 days of the March and then two days. So basically I will have 30 days, then I will have 10 days and two days. So I have divided these 42 days in terms of 30 plus 10 plus 2. Now, the last two days are most valuable, invincible days and you should not have any confusion what to do in these last two days. So, be very, very clear. We will be doing our vibe booklet. We will be doing what? We will be doing our why booklet images in the last two days along with whatever you know you have to keep remembering that is your volatile so i have to keep it very very simple looking at the images one day and looking at the things that i keep on forgetting so there are you know certain volatiles of every person that he or she tends to forget and have to look at it at the last hour or the last day so that is your last two days very very simple so i don't have to hustle ki mujhe last din kya karna hai last din mujhe images dekhni hai last din mujhe wo dekhna hai which is important which has come up in the previous year examinations or which i have been doing constantly wrong in my gts yeah anything theek hai now I have good 40 days. Now, वैसे तो 40 days is not a big time, but if you see from my end, 40 days means 400 hours, which are not less. So uh, I have been very realistic actually. जो मैंने divide किया है, वो सिर्फ 10 hours per day किया है. I have seen uh, so many strategies which have been defined taking 13 to 14 hours per day. But let's be very realistic क्योंकि you know uh, if you have been studying for this much long then maybe you may not be requiring my strategy at this time. तो बहुत लंबा नहीं रखते हैं, simple रखते हैं कि minimum you will be studying the 10 hours per day. So you have 300 hours now that looks a doable time where you are able to complete your subjects and then we will have next you know 10 days so next 10 days 10 into 10 again i will have good 100 hours and then 20 hours i have kept for my images and the volatile so that gives me a sense of completion before going to the examination always remember there is no end to the good there is no end to the volume of the content that may be going inside your head but definitely there is a limit up to which you can remember and you can keep in your, in your heads so i want you to keep some space in your mind so that you have the space for breathing out because you know when you are extra stuffed with the content you are not able to use your presence of mind you are not able to use your gut feeling 
सो वी विल कीप इट अ लिटल यू नो नॉट ओवर क्राउडेड सिंपल वाला तो आई हैव बीन गिवन नाउ गुड थर्टी डेज नाउ इन दिस थर्टी डेज आई स्टडी टेन आर्स daily which is quite doable and even if you are not thorough before and you have not done much before then also i'll say you can try up this method and you can actually try your luck so i have seen people i'll not say that they were uh, they will be in the first 1000 rank but they have scored a decent rank going by this way so you have got 30 days or 300 hours and uh, studying daily for 10 hours now how to utilize this day the main thing is how to utilize this daily 10 hours so daily 10 hours may i'll be dividing it into 6 hours and 4 hours so i'll be doing 6 hours theory and 4 hours mcqs why because i'm taking for granted that you have actually at least have gone once through this course or even if you have not done it very very well before then you have ample time 6 hours to do for the theory and i will say now it's much more relevant to do mcqs at this time so all those topics if they are larger enough and you are not been able to go about whole of the theory then also you can cover these topics in the retrospective manner with the help of mcqs and this really does very very well especially for the long subjects like medicine surgery gynae psm and so on so all those topics which are taking very very long time for you to cover and you don't have that much time not a problem try to solve the most important or frequently asked mcqs on these topics and i am telling you you are done okay along with this you can pick up your previous year question paper and see what all questions have come from these topics if there is any topic from this subject you can do that because you know 80% of the times the questions are coming from those 20% of the topics i always say 80 20 principle so that 80 20 principle always holds good don't keep on running about that learning 80% learn that 20% and 80% of your question paper will be done and that is the main idea okay it is good it is best if you are able to do 100% but that is not practically feasible so we are talking about on the practical grounds so i have divided this in 6 hours theory and the 4 hour mcq now what you can do you can even divide this 4 hours mcqs into two parts so 2 hours i can do these mcqs in the morning then i can start with the theory and then 2 hours in the evening you can do this mcq the reason is that your paper will be in the morning your gts are in the morning so i want you to all be in a practice of giving these tests and doing these mcqs in the morning time so that your biological clock sets in and your mind knows that that is the time of your maximum productivity and you have to be really really careful really really cautious at this time so 2 plus 6 plus 2 this you can do and that will go very well how because you know when you are doing the mcqs you'll get to know what kind of mcqs you are getting from that particular topic and where is the area where you are getting maximum mistakes then you are actually reading that topic and again you are doing the mcq so that will make the topic much much sumptuous i'm telling you so don't do this mistake that thinking that we have not completed the course so let me skip the mcqs and muggling the uh, theory that will not help you because ultimately you have to do the mcqs mcq practice is must so i have not divided it into 5 and 5 hours but i have divided it into 6 plus 4 if you are pretty confident about your theory you can do the reverse also 4 hours theory and 6 hours mcqs 3 plus 3 also that could be done now when you are completing all the subjects in these 30 days you know about yourself the best which subject to give how much time so though i am not in much favor of giving this uh, you know distribution that two days for this three days but because i am giving a plan so i am giving one practical logical one but uh, obviously your you know um, 
perspective of the things may be different and you are the best judge that how many days you have to give for a particular subject but if uh, you are comfortable uh, with all the subjects then approximately you can go with this for the first year subjects two days per subject two for the anatomy two for physiology two for biochemistry two for pathology two for pharma two for micro i think forensic one will do of the definitely two because you know as i always say of the is not a short subject anymore so you are getting lot of questions lot of integration so two good days one for ent and two for psm then i have tried to give medicine three days surgery three days obg two days one for obg and one for gynae or you can do it one and a half and half and pediatrics two days now maybe for some of you you know three days for medicine surgery may not be sufficient what i have tried to do i have got two extra days which i have kept for skin and anesthesia why skin and anesthesia if you have done before can be done in one day also so one anesthesia uh, one day anesthesia and uh, skin both can be done in one day spare so that one day half and half can be utilized for medicine surgery or if you have done with the one whole of the full day can be utilized either for the medicine either for the surgery so this gives you sumptuous everything course because you know every subject counts every subject is worth marking worth reading it is giving you questions so it's not a good idea of leaving any subject please don't leave any subject even if you don't have ample time of reading all the things give at least this much time to all the subjects give at least this much time to all the subjects so that you uh, what is done at least you are remembering the high yield things now here you can see i have not written certain subjects like uh, i have not written radio then we have got the psychiatry and then the ortho the thing is the radio now radio you have to do along with the surgery only because maximum radio will be covered with the surgery with the medicine with the obg now whatever is left you can do in one day so one day we are keeping an extra similarly psychiatry and ortho again it is done in the integrated manner along with the anatomy and the surgery plus you can do one day you know plus minus here and there according to the course that you have completed so if you are uh, uh, requiring only maybe one day for the psm or you are requiring two days for the surgery then that one day can be kept there now we will be talking about the gts that is again very very important how frequently we should give the gts so always remember that you have to give gt at least in two weeks even i know toppers and rankers who have been giving gts every week but at least i will say give it at least once in two weeks and along with this the analysis of this gt is again very very important so giving the gt is of utmost importance and reviewing that gt is even more important because you know no matter how much you are studying it is very very important to review your uh, work so if you keep on you know working and working without actually monitoring your progress without monitoring where you are going wrong i bet you cannot improve you can improve only when you know your weaknesses so please ponder on giving gts yes you may not be getting very good scores in gts you may not be satisfied sometimes it happens and i think most of the times this will happen but the thing is that you don't have to see and uh, uh, you know be affected by the score of your gt you have to be affected by your final score and in order to improve your final score you require these gts so they are not actually you know testing tool they are learning tool use them as a learning tool learn by giving gts you actually mature by giving more tests you require that patience of sitting or uh, that much time um, comprehending the questions approaching the questions how you are able to remember the things what are the things that you are forgetting uh application of certain things so you you need gts okay and no matter uh, you know how hard you are feeling but you have to give that plus now one more thing how to 
uh, you know, go about the subjects. So there are two ways of going about the subjects. One is that you are doing every subject one day. So two days you are doing anatomy, two days you are doing physiology. Another way of doing the things is you can do it in an integrated manner. Some people are more comfortable that way also. And I think that's a good uh, way of uh, learning because nowadays you are getting the integrated questions. So you can like combine some integrated subjects like one long subject along with this, you can combine one short subject. Uh, for example, if you are doing the anatomy along with this, you can combine with surgery and you can use both the days. Okay, then you can do anatomy with ortho also. Or if you want, you can do surgery plus radio. Or if you want, you can do medicine. Medicine ke saad, you can do the skin or the derma. So this is also a way of doing the things because, you know, uh, if you follow the next pattern, then they are not going to ask you uh, separately the secretary questions or uh, the derma questions. They will be clubbed in the medicine. So when you are learning the medicine, you are doing the derma also, secretary also. When you are doing the surgery questions, uh, they are covering the ortho also, radio also, anesthesia also. So they, you can also do surgery with anesthesia. So that is also a good way of doing the things. So again, it will depend upon your convenience, whatever is your way of studying, because you know, every individual is different. And I cannot give one plan for everybody, but I can show you the different parts, whatever is your cafeteria, you can choose that, right? So I think this 30 days plan, which is your 300 hours is pretty doable and pretty easy. At least you can study 10 hours a day. You can, uh, you know, have time for yourself also. Uh, you are not scared uh, or scared of sleep also. You can take a good amount of sleep. You can uh, do a lot of MCQs. You can keep some time for doing the GTs and reviewing it. And ample theory plus MCQs also. Now we are there with the 10 days. Now these are your 10 very, very valuable days before the final two days of your exam in this you have to just revise the high yield now high yield topics from every subject you have to revise how to revise high yield topics from every subject this you will come to know from the previous year questions so first day what you are going to do every day pick up one subject and start doing the previous year questions go back and remember all the topics that have been uh, asked in these previous year question papers make a list of them and revise just those topics suppose if you take ofta do the previous year questions of ofta now previous year questions means neat also plus inict also and how many it is three to five year paper so five is the maximum but at least basic is the three years Three years means NEET will be three and INICT will be your six. So total nine papers you have to do. So you have to do these nine papers. So if I take the example of ophthalmology, you take these nine papers, note down all the topics which have been asked. I think they are very, very overlapping. So you'll get a list of these questions. Plus we have also provided you the important high yielding topics of every subject on our telegram group. So you can take down from there also and make a, this list and every day you have to revise. You have to revise from these. Now you are having only 10 days. So every day you have to do two subjects. Two subjects high yield topics you have to revise. You can divide it into the 7 plus 3 or you can do it 6 plus 4 means a long subject you can do in 7 hours and a short subject you can do in a 3 hours so uh, total is your 19 subjects so even one day you are getting extra so you can do total of 20 subjects so again one more fruitful very very high yielding hours frequently hours in the previous year questions not to miss you cannot afford them to lose these previous year questions you are doing them and when you are doing these previous year questions, you are seeing the important images. When you were doing the 30 day strategy, then also you had looked up the images. And then in the final two days, pick up your white booklet. That is again a mini revision kind of 19 subjects. All the important images with the important concepts you can revise and plus your 20th notebook. So I, I think everybody knows the concept of this uh, 
20th notebook we have been talking about it from uh, need and INICT 2021 all the rankers have talked about it this consists of your volatiles from all the subjects this consists of all your mistakes from the different GTs which you have been doing again and again and the final two days is a great time okay apart from the 10 days that you can look upon them you can improve upon them you can strike your mind that yes I have been doing this mistake again and again I don't have to repeat this mistake and you are there so you have reached the end of 42 days now each day you will have stress you will have a lot of pressure of completing your day target but I would say one thing every day start your day with my morning quote so that you are filled with energy motivation and inspiration positive vibes that yes you will do it and at night sleep with the satisfaction so for bringing that satisfaction you will have to work hard throughout the day so start your day with a lot of positive energy complete your day target and go to the bed maybe you require one hour extra someday take that one hour extra and go again with the satisfaction that yes i have completed for the day so that next day you are not in guilt you are again starting with the positive energy and take my words this positive energy has a lot of effect and it can do wonders so i think this is the most doable and practically feasible plan i have not given you any undue targets 10 hours daily is the promise that i want to uh, take from you just i uh, require 10 hours daily till 12th of march and your pledge that you are going to uh, attach to this plan and definitely you are going to rock in the flying colors uh, in case of any query, you can always message me on any of the social media platforms on my Telegram group. You can follow me on Insta as well as the Facebook group. The links of all these will be given in the description box. Thank you and have, have a nice day. And I wish you all of you a very, very, uh, you know, successful Need PG 2022. Thank you.